We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. It should be a good Diamond Dynasty matchup tonight between Long Beach and Death Valley. Into the box, Mickey Mantle. And we are set for baseball here this evening. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. This hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball. I think you go right back to it. Hit hard towards center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out the first. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. As a good changeup will get him to commit too early, and it's strike one. Popped him up. Morrow has a play. One away. Digging in, DJ LeMayhew. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And that swung on and missed for strike one. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The 1 1 home. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. Digging in now, Randy Rosarena. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Now a slur is going to bounce up to the plate as he lays off it for a ball. Grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one-two. Tapper up the line. Another one-two delivery. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. The first base. Stepping into the box, Cody Bellinger, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. I got him fishing that time, 0 and 1. And it's quickly 0 and 2. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. A pause. And the 0 2. And it's fouled away. Got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Standing in, Brian Roberts. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman. Here it comes. Brian Roberts. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Mantle is under it, and there's one gone. Now in the box, Larry Walker. First offering on its way. Wind up and the 0 1. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike, too. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Pulled toward right center field. And this will be taken in out there just a few steps in front of the track, and there are two away now. 
So striding forward now, Howie Morrow. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. And the pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound. And to check swing and not chase that one, puts himself right back in the count. Lifted the other way out to left center. And Mantle makes the catch. The inning is over. Second inning set to go. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball belt high and above. So that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone. Now a swing and a miss, and Stanton is down on strikes for round number one. So digging in now, Jose Ramirez. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Yeah, he's not quite as powerful on the left side. He's certainly not Chipper Jones, who had pop from both sides of the plate. Much more pop hitting right-handed. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Behind 0-2 now. Fouled off. No score here as we play inning number two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Now the nothing and one from Wood. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Made him look silly with that one. Hit sharply on the ground. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. Got it, got it. Into the box now. Walker Bueller. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Anthony Santander the next to bat. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Anthony. First delivery to him on the way. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Got a pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the zone. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one without a doubt is gone. At the plate, Todd Helton. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Bueller is what you may call a stingy starting pitcher. He rarely gets hit around, and on top of that, he usually excels at limiting free passes. A great combination to have. Matty V, I think one of the keys to being a good starting pitcher, one, limiting the number of pitches that you throw into a game, and two, getting out as quickly as you can and there aren't too many guys that do it better than this guy not a lot of pitches one of the things I like he's in attack mode from the first pitch of every at bat mantle is right there one down stepping into the box could tell Marte one run in and one gun so far in the inning. He's ready. Here's the first offering. This is skied into short left center. Stanton comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. 
So bases are empty here with two gone. And in next, it'll be the perennial MVP candidate, third baseman Nolan Arenado. Out in front of it, strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. Now at the plate, Mickey Mantle. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 1. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Hit out towards second. And this will get through into right. And he's aboard with a single. Now back. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. In time as he just gets the tag down. The wind up and the 0 1. And he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMahieu, reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Two out, nobody on. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's the pitch. Fouled away. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Another 0 and 2 coming. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Hey, that's not an easy pitch to hold your swing up. I know it looked like it was way off the plate. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Plate Juan Soto as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. First delivery to him on the way. And he fouls this one off. Again, another foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Right side and right into the shift. Reined in. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Stepping in, Kerry Wood. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now here's the pitch. And that misses one and one. One out, nobody on. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. On to first, and there were two down. Now back. Digging in to try it again, Brian Roberts. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And this will be fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's 1 and 1. Fastball close, but he didn't get it. 2 and 1. 
And now pitch on the way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Mantle is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Settling in now, Randy Rosarena. For the Diablo, the right field. Randy. First pitch coming, Ozo here it is. And that one swung oh, on and missed 0 1. A ball and a strike. Hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Boy, and that's about as bad as you can fool the guy. It's 1 and 2. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Here he comes again, 1 2. Swing and a foul tip, but that's held onto behind the plate. It's a strikeout for route number one. Number 35. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Cody Bellinger will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Rock solid performance up to this part of the ball game right now. One of the keys, 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you do that, you really make the hitter swing at the pitch you want them to swing at. Good change up in the dirt. Strike three. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton. A ball and no strikes. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. That's by him for strike one. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Couldn't lay off that time, and it's one and two. Now Stanton swings and sends a ground ball to short. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and the side is retired. Into the box now, Larry Walker. He flew out in his last at-bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Walker is simply an all-around great defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus arm, one that base runners and base coaches certainly have to be mindful of. Absolutely. When you are in the meeting room preparing for this guy, it is the first thing that jumps off the page. Do not take the extra base. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. Chopped down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. And the pitch. Into right field, that's a base hit. The batter, the catcher, Howie Morrow. Into the box, Howie Morrow, as he rips it on the ground to second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Now that the right field, Anthony Santander. In now, Anthony Santander, as he comes oh, up man. empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park, just like he did back in the second. And it's fouled away. 
Here comes the nothing in two pitch. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. A throw behind the runner at second, but he gets back in time safe at second base. Fouled off. Inside, as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. And he indeed takes only the out at first as the runners move to second and third with one away now. As a look, now the pitch. Hit out towards second. And that's through into center field. Base hit. One run scores. The throw to the plate, but not in time as he's across with the run. 